Hello my dear Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to your reading, welcome to your Valentine's reading. I'm hoping that you're well. Happy stay forever you are within this world. Scorpio, remember that this is an open reading. You could be involved, you could be single, you could be in any type of a situation, all right? And there could be messages for you within this reading. Scorpio. So let's see. Let's begin and see what's going on for our dear Scorpio spirit for Valentine's. What's happening? Oh my goodness, the sun is flipped. I'm going to put it here. Ooh, a lot of joy, a lot of happiness coming through. A lot of peaceful times ahead, a lot of worms. Okay, I love this for you. Wow. <gasps> Look at all the circle energy we have, Scorpio. We have a lot of yellow energy as well, which is signifying joy, which is signifying abundance, good health, the energy of recovery that's coming through for you. Okay, now do we have one last card for dear Scorpio before we get started, Spirit? What is happening for Scorpio? Page of Wands and the Hierophant at the Bond deck. So I feel like there is changes in the air for you right now, Scorpio, all right? I definitely feel like you're entering a new shift, a new phase of your life, all right? Where there is peace, where there is warmth, whether it be warmth within someone's arms, this could be warmth of making peace with yourself, all right? Loving yourself, really feeling comfortable in your own body, really feeling comfortable with yourself. I feel like there's a strong energy of warmth that I keep hearing that word for you, all right? So, I feel like you could be spending time, all right, with a particular person. Someone here could be definitely reaching out to you, making plans with you, wanting to see, wanting to spend time with you. And um, I feel like there is a beautiful potential with this person, all right? You could be connecting with a fire energy, Leo. Strongly, we have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius, as well as another Scorpio could be, all right, or Aquarius. I feel that... The wheels are turning for you, all right? It's almost like the universe is showing you another chapter, another side, all right, of things. And you're becoming more and more open in regards to what it is that you are worthy of, you know, what it is that you are deserving of, Scorpio, all right? Now, you could be receiving a message also in regards to your work, some of you, even though this is going to be a love reading for Valentine's Day. I do feel like some of you are going to be receiving a message in regards to your work, that things are going to be okay, that you are receiving a confirmation. This could be promotion. This could be an affirmation, acceptance um, of something, whether it be a new job, whether it be a new opportunity, you getting started, all right, I just feel like this is a very, very huge step for you here, Scorpio, and I really want to tell you that I'm proud of you, hey, it feels lovely. Now, Spirit, could we know a little bit more in regards to this beautiful opportunity and the sun energy that's surrounding Scorpio throughout this time? What is happening? For Scorpio spirit, page of swords. Wow, you're receiving a lot of attention and the lovers. Heavens, let me just cover cover this card real quick. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's like the heaven is bringing you a person down on earth. All right, it feels to me like there could be a connection that's very, very blissful. That feels very spiritual all right some of you definitely this person could come from a different background or it's almost like they're very i'm hearing they're very much unlike anything you've ever experienced or any type of a connection you've had so wow i'm hearing the laughter from my neighbor i don't know if you can hear it but definitely there are good news um there could be something happening that's going to really make you happy but i feel like you've never actually experienced such connection before whether it be it feels very refreshing to you this person could really respect you this person could really put you first all right um you could be also connecting with someone younger than you scorpio or it could just simply mean that this connection feels very lighthearted. um you could really feel like yourself when you're with this person hey now spirit any messages in regards to this connection before i do oracles wow four of wands so 
April could be really significant in regards to this connection. Some of you, October and June could also be um, significant months for you as well as March. There is a possibility, okay, for a commitment. Remember the Hierophant that came through? I definitely feel like there could be a possibility to be together in a long-term connection. You and this person, I feel like you are going and moving towards that energy right now, whether it be that you are becoming exclusive with this person, you are seeing each other more, you're hanging out, you are um, inviting each other over. Um, but there's a very, very, again, we have the yellow energy, warm energy, okay, that is um, created between you two that I love, that I'm here for. I also feel like some of you could really feel safe with this person, like you could feel safe enough to tell them things about you that you've never told anyone, or this also could be speaking of, you know, feeling safe enough to be vulnerable, that this person really allows you to be vulnerable, like that, okay? But I keep hearing that this is unlike anything you've ever experienced before, Scorpio, all right? And I keep hearing laughter from outside, so things are happening, okay? Um, is there any other advice before I do oracles for our dear Scorpio spirit? Advice. Four of Swords and the Empress. It's time for you to relax, okay? It's time for you to relax and allow yourself to enjoy your life. Allow yourself to enjoy someone's company. It's time for you to rather allow things be in the hands of universe and not beat yourself up anymore, you know, not feel like you're um, in control of everything. Now, the other message that I'm seeing for you is that I feel like you're no longer going to be chasing after, you know, anyone or anything or um, love, you know, there's an energy of love surrounds you, love comes to you, love knocks at your door, love pursues you, you know, and you're coming into this realization that everything just happens so naturally for me and comes to me so easily that I don't have to rather put myself through fire, you know, for me to say that someone could be connecting with a fire sign. Now, do we have any oracle messages for our dear... Scorpio, someone could be healing your relationship with your mother or forgiving someone in your family. I don't know why I just got that. Or making peace with someone. Um, and this also is helping you to heal as well. You know, I feel. Any oracle messages for our dear Scorpio to be half spirit? Okay. I'll take three. Oh, there's actually four. Okay. Fear yourself as your first card. Free yourself. I feel that... You are going to be really experiencing a lot of new experiences in your life, Scorpio. I don't know if you felt held back. I don't know if you've been holding back yourself from enjoying life. Or this also could be something that you really felt tied down by. But there's an energy of you are so much worth, you know, with the unicorn. You could be seeing horses or unicorns, or you could be connecting with someone from the earth. Horse, snake, dragon, tiger, and dog could be happier, and ox, right? Um, could be, could be them, but all this energy speaking of is that you're finally willing to step out of your comfort zone and actually see what the spirit has prepared for you, you know, and this again goes back to opportunities that are surrounding you, but Specifically, when it comes to love, I feel like there's going to be a confession, you know. I'm looking at the ring on her hand here. So definitely someone here could be popping the question. Someone could be asking you, um, you know, or expressing feelings to you. I definitely feel like there's a possibility here that someone is <laughs> coming towards you to confess, all right, and hold you tight and... Um, again, there's an energy embrace. Some of you could work together as well, by the way, or this also, again, could be speaking of you finally feeling financially free or you gaining the security you've been wanting for a long time. Perhaps you could be starting something up that you have a lot of passion for that you've been wanting to do for a long time, and it's very freeing, okay? Now, do we have any angel messages for our dear Scorpio spirit? Any angel messages do we have for our dear Scorpio? All right. Okay. Let's see what we have. Yes. I love it for you. Okay. Sing clearly Pisces energy. 
It's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry, the pause and momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Wow. Again, the spirit here is telling you that try to surround yourself and put yourself, you know, in situations where you feel like people are seeing your uniqueness. So I don't know if you've been holding that energy back. I don't know if you've been you know, not putting yourself first in situations or um, you might have been pleasing other people instead of yourself. But finally, you're coming into clarity that I also am a person, that I also have a life and that I need to finally um, put myself out there. All right. Last card for you, we have a happy change. Your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. All right. Again, we have the energy circle. Okay. Circle always stands for infinity, always stands for completions, um, a beautiful new phase beginning for you, an end of a phase, you know, a sense of rebirth and transformation. And I feel like finally this is happening and... You're going to really feel yourself be reborn. You know, you're going to really feel yourself become alive, Scorpio. And it's truly beautiful. It's very, very exciting for a lot of you. Some of you also, I feel like this could be speaking of beginning of a connection. All right. And um, the creation of the connection, the creation of the intimacy that you're going to have with someone that's just beautiful. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're definitely becoming alive here and with someone, you know, I don't feel like you're alone here. So this is all I have for you, my dear Scorpio. I hope that this helps you. Happy Valentine's Day. Finally, I can say that because it's tomorrow. I'm sending my kiss. And if you would like to have a personal reading with me, my information is down below. You can write to me and to my email. And so are my links to my Instagram page. Also the new channel I have, Siesta, okay? Um, sending you my kiss. Mm -hmm. My warm race and my love and light. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, honey.